Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a repeat. Uh, this is again addressing uh, gallbladder dilemmas, uh, chiropractic and kinesiology. Uh, I, a few years ago, had a gallbladder attack, I think they call it. And it is. When your gallbladder attacks you, it's, it's quite effective at what it does. It's, it's very, sorry, let me get curls trying to mix it. Um, but the, uh, uh, it attacked me once, and they wanted to remove it, and I wouldn't let them, and it attacked me the next year. And uh, when it attacked me the second time, after a full night of uh, fighting it and feeling like I was losing, uh, I went up to see my friend Tim, who's an oriental medical doctor. Quack, quack, quack. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went up, and he didn't even remotely rem ask me if I wanted my gallbladder removed. He said, oh, wow. He said, you know, and a lot of times in uh, Chinese medicine, he said, what they find is that there are worms in the gallbladder duct, and it blocks it, and it really gives the symptoms of, of uh, a gallbladder attack. And I've heard that 30% of all appendix removed, 30% are healthy. They get in there, and they don't know what caused the pain, but they take out the appendix just in case. Okay? So uh, after my second attack, uh, he gave me some... Uh, herbs to get rid of parasites. And that, I went home, took the herbs, and fell on my knees again in pain. I asked my wife to get me a gun because the pain is so excruciating that I didn't want to go through it again. But within 20 minutes, it was over with. I came to the chiropractic college here in, in Barcelona. One of the teachers, a young man, as I said, 12 years younger than me, uh, is suffering, or has suffered, has suffered from gallbladder problems. I finally tracked him down one day, we did some kinesiology, we tested uh, and he needed some nutritional things and some of it was there were parasites present in his system so I suggested very strongly we do a parasite cleanse. Uh, did some kinesiology, found some other things that were going on in his system, some acupuncture things, some chiropractic related things. Uh, here's an odd thing, uh, when I finish working on most of my patients, I adjust them, I give them a uh, uh, spinal manipulation because I believe in it. I believe that it really makes a difference in a person's health care. And so I go ahead and uh, this doctor was on my table and he, uh, I had him where I was going to adjust his cervicals, which if you've, you've ever had it, for some people it's real, real scary. I really like it. I've had enough of them and I'm not scared of them anymore. But he's, I said, can I adjust your cervicals? He said, yeah, go ahead. And so I adjusted him. He said, you know, I don't let very many people do that. He said, when I was in college, somebody adjusted me so hard that I had a TIA, transoscenic attack. It's like a little stroke. And they say that it can happen. And uh, the adjustment was from a student and so poorly done. I'd never met anybody, anybody in all my years who'd had it, but from one student to the other. So he said, it's not everybody that I let adjust myself. But the moral of the story is, I was talking to my son today, who was over at college, checking on his exams and things, and he talked to this doctor, and the doctor said, he said, what we did was amazing. He said, for the first time in six years, he's asymptomatic from his gallbladder. So if you're having gallbladder issues, consider that there might be other things going on, that you may want to look at uh, some alternative things before you have it taken out. Uh, again, if you have a gallbladder taken out, your liver has to work twice as hard to continue to produce bile because it doesn't uh, have any place to store it, uh, find somebody you trust. Uh, if you have to travel, travel. Thank you for listening. www.micpeakperformance.com